Get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore. It's no BS. It's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costigan, the Agent on Fire. And the guy who's going to teach you all about making consistent money in real estate, right? And not sinking like most agents do in their first year and the rest of them that drop out in the next two or three. I don't care if you've been selling real estate for 20 years, you're brand new in this business. There's one thing you got to know. You got to know how to get freaking listings. If you don't get listings, quit, go ahead, choke yourself, reserve the coffin and the burial plot because you're done. Your career is over with. Fortunately, I have put together a list for you of the seven ways that you can get listings in 30 minutes or less. It's a seven step process to getting listings in 30 minutes or less and charging a hell of a lot more money. Look, this is shit your broker doesn't know. Most brokers, they can't tell you, they can't help you. And if you're not going to use it, then just get lost. I'm wasting my time. You're wasting yours. Look, I'm an expert at listing houses. I am the best person at listing houses that I have ever met. I, one month I listed 107, not builder homes, 107 regular old single family houses, right? Resale properties. So I know what the hell I'm talking about. I also know the shit to stay away from. I know what poisons real estate agents and, and I want you to make some money so you don't have to go learn. You know, I don't want you to have to learn magic tricks and go work kids birthday parties. That sucks and real estate shouldn't suck. And I'm going to tell you brokers can suck, right? I mean, Let's talk about what I call a fatal dose of broker cyanide, right? You probably remember when you were new in the business. It's that, it's that poison that you think is the magic potion that your broker hands to you and says, here, drink this and all's going to be great, right? Uh, God, I'll tell you, a few drops of shitty broker advice and I, I'm telling you, whatever life is left in your business is choked right the hell out of you. I, I remember when I got into real estate, yeah, it was, I don't know, more than 25 years ago. I quit counting. I don't like birthdays these days and anniversaries. Look, my broker sat me. I, you know what? I remember, I remember the most. I remember looking around at all of these people. Look, I don't care. I, I'll say it. Lose oars. Loose oars. Losers. Sitting around, chit-chatting, talking about their war stories, and I'm looking at the board, a sales board, and I'm not seeing many, many sales at all, much less any of these idiots up there, right? I'm like, what the hell could they be doing when they're supposed to be out selling homes? Now, I came from a background of selling, right? My father, shit, he gave us a nice life. Not rich, not poor upper middle class, I guess. Sales, man, I, I think I took it from dad, sales, Right. I sold everything. Right. I worked. I was the top salesman making 50 grand a year selling newspapers part time working in like neighborhoods where me white kid really was warned to get the hell out of. But I did it. I learned my routine. I learned how to sell, sell, sell. I've sold cars. I've sold the uh, telemarketing, timeshares, all this hardcore shit. So I knew to make sales, you had to do a lot of stuff you didn't like to do. But once you started doing it, it became really friggin' easy. What did my broker tell me to do when I get in there? He hands me a stack of cards and says, fill these out and send them to your sphere of influence. Influence? Who the fuck do I influence? I mean, I'm lucky if I can influence my dog to not shit on the carpet, right? I'm not an influencer. I'm a brand new fucking real estate agent who wants to get some commissions so I don't have to sleep in the damn break room. But this is what they teach you. I was always the top guy at everything that I did, right? When I got into real estate, you know, I I just wanted to do what I do, but make a lot more money doing it. I wanted to trounce everybody. I wasn't interested in trading sob stories with these losers, right? Yet here I was, brand new, totally clearless, clueless. And and then I'm forced to join a caravan on Tuesday where I wasted my entire day going through everybody else's bullshit listings that made me no money. I sure as hell wasn't going to sell them. I had no clients. Right. It's my belief. Look, look, I'm totally stunned by this bullshit. I don't think brokers know. Um, I was very wet behind the ears, but I knew that this shit didn't sell homes. And look, I'm not saying brokers are 
all bad. I think there's some very good brokers out there and some that have done pretty well, but I don't think there's a lot of them that are very good at teaching you real sales skills because you got to friggin' do it because I don't know anybody who would be a broker if they weren't selling themselves, right? I mean, everybody who I train, who's a broker, man, they're the rock stars because they're out there actually selling too. They're not there to just look at commissions and make a little piece of everybody's pie. I'm a broker, right? It's my belief though, that lots of brokers do it because they just enjoy the security. So don't listen to the average broker unless he or she's selling themselves. Salespeople, good ones, they enjoy the risk, right? They, they relish the chase. They live for the damn sale. So in the AOF Blaze, my newsletter, my course, right? I often teach agents how to eliminate the time suck activities in their day. How to say screw open houses, right? And it leads to huge and usually quite instant jumps like in commission checks, right? Massive increases in their free time, right? It gives them their life back and it gives them a whole hell of a lot more money to enjoy it. It's almost always almost 100% of the time, a simple shift in your focus of your awareness, being aware of what you're doing that allows you to see where your time is well spent. Most agents will never stop and do this. One of my favorite quotes from any friggin' movie ever was Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty damn fast. If you don't stop once in a while and look around, you're going to miss it. Right. So look around at what the hell you're doing and just do the right stuff. Look, most agents fail at doing this, but my agents don't. They rock. Right. And I'm going to give you something that is the greatest gift I could possibly give you because I want to help you. I wish I could make you have this. Go to Agent on Fire right now. Look, if you want to learn how to cut all the fat out of the real estate business and you want to begin making a hefty sum of dollars per hours that you work, go to agentonfire.com www.agentonfire.com. Go there now and download the seven secrets. It's a process. Seven secrets to getting listings in 30 minutes or less and charging more money. So you're in and out the door in 30 minutes. You're at home to watch your little TV shows and hang out with your family and you actually charge the higher commission and a fee. Life doesn't get better than that, folks, when you learn that. So come back here next time for more life-changing information. and You're welcome. Take care. This is the podcastfactory.com.